All right, good morning. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about prayer this morning. You know, Ernest Holmes, the founder of our church, uh, got over 50, 60, 70 years ago. What he started to do was that he started to open up the name of God so that people could come back to church. He said, yes, God is God, but God is also intelligence, infinite intelligence. And God is love, and God is spirit, and God is the first cause. And what that did is it sort of blew the doors open at the front of the church. So people who had thought up until that point that God was like a guy in the sky with a book keeping score, now she said, well, if God is not that, but God is infinite intelligence, if God is the first cause, like they might say in science, well, maybe, maybe I will investigate this again. Now, um, I, he did the same thing with prayer, that he sort of opened up prayer because people largely believed that praying was this begging relationship they had with God. Now, please do not raise your hands. Do not raise your hands. You can raise your hand on the inner plane. Do not raise your hand here because I don't want anybody to feel bad. But how many of us have had lots of experience with those begging and beseeching prayers and gotten really minimal results? Yes, absolutely. You know, I mean, years and years. I mean, I came from a long line of people who just prayed in the most beseeching, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, help me, please, you know? And... And it didn't do a lot of good. It really, really didn't do a lot of good. So why we keep praying that way when it's minimally, minimally effective, if effective at all, is really beyond me. So on one level, we would say for sure that all thoughts are prayers, all acts that we take. Everything we think, everything we say, everything we do in some respect is a prayer because it goes out into the universal mind and the universe responds to that. Ernest Holmes says the universe responds with mechanical regularity. You know, what, what I notice is that, that when we start to have these discussions, that people's ideas about God have stopped growing, even though they have. You know, that their idea of God and spirit and prayer has stopped evolving. That a lot of people's idea remains sort of this man in the sky with a book who's kind of a combination of Santa Claus, a bellboy, and a hitman, you know? Um, but we say, no, 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 God is greater than that. God is this principle of love and intelligence that creates the universe out of itself. God is the energy that maintains and sustains the universe. It's, it's like, kind of like the force in Star Wars. It's, it's love and law. Ernest said that love points the way and the law makes the way possible. So prayer is a way for us to contact something that's very sacred within us, something holy within us. Prayer is a way for us to know a greater spiritual truth. And if we know, really know, a greater spiritual truth, we will become free. So people think, you know, this is my observation, but people think they're just too darn educated now. Well, you know, after all, I'm very sophisticated now. I drink Chardonnay. And... Uh, and so even with lots of education, lots and lots of education, and I'm all for people being educated, I think it's a good thing, but people think they're too sophisticated to pray, you know, because, and that's because they have not actually updated their notion about God. You know, the, the, you know there, there are things that happen in our life, and especially if you're smart, and you know this smart people, that you cannot outthink the big issues. Right? There are things that come up in your life and you think, well, if I just think harder about this, or if I just keep doing the same thing I've always been doing, only do it twice as hard, then that'll be the thing that, that, that gets rid of it. You know? Well, what that might do is that might change an external symptom, but it hasn't really uh, deeply affected what's going on inside of you. It's like taking a pill to get rid of some external symptom, but the real issue still remains inside. Right? Is everybody with me?